CSG finally came out with a new label. Let's talk about how this affects my grading strategy going forward. I just got back from the Mint Collective in Las Vegas. It was an awesome show, and I wanna do another video on my experience at the show, some of my card pickups. I know I meant to do that with the Atlanta show, and unfortunately just got backed up with work, uh, but I'm, I am finally able to get another video done. I especially wanted to do one just with the uh, Las Vegas show fresh on my mind. But in this video, I wanted to get into the new label that CSG is coming out with. I want to go over my initial thoughts and what I plan to do. So when I first heard about this label, I believe it was on Friday, I said, oh shoot, I hope CSG has some prototypes and they did. So they were at the Vegas show and they did bring their prototypes. So I did get to hold uh, one of the new labels, uh, one of the new slabs with a new label. And uh, I have to say, it looks really nice in hand. So when I first saw the picture, I was a little bit underwhelmed. Uh, I thought that the label itself was a little bit too simple. I was kind of hoping for probably something a little bit more like HGA and less like GMA. But I have to say that, uh, you know, sometimes simple is good. And I think in this case, it's going to work out well because it's going to go with any card that you grade. I mean, if, if it's a nice, simple, neutral color, you can send pretty much any card and it's going to look nice. And I'll tell you, it does in hand. And I think they picked the uh, Tom Brady, and I'll go ahead and show it here, the Tom Brady Bowman Chrome rookie card to show off as an example, uh, because that, that's probably a card that's difficult to color match or find a nice label. It's kind of a, uh, in my opinion, it's kind of an uglyish brown border, the card itself. So uh, I think it looks pretty good in this CSG label, and I think that they're just trying to show that pretty much any card's gonna look good in our label. And I think that's just going to go a long way because CSG is a reputable company. They are the go-to company for comic books if you grade with them with CGC. And so they have the infrastructure. They have the grading system and process. Uh, I think the knock on them prior to this label switch is that their grading standards were too tough. So I want to get into that as well. Uh, but before that, I do want to briefly touch on the Mint Collective because I did get to see uh, some other YouTube content creators. I finally got to meet Dustin, the personal finance dad, uh, who has now rebranded to the sports card dad. So you might know him as personal finance dad. But uh, anyway, I finally got to meet him and his son. So that was pretty cool. I got to meet Roland with FD. And that was that was fun as well. I know we had a little back and forth about our uh, top 10 all-time NBA list and I know he's definitely given me uh, some some you know crap about my list and I think I've I've mentioned something about a player on his, his list and so we kind of had a little back and forth anyway um so there was that I got to meet Roland with FD and unfortunately I didn't get a picture and I also got to meet the great curator well I met the great curator in Atlanta as well but finally got a picture with him and Merlin of course uh, who Merlin, I have to tell you, Merlin is one of the nicest guys in the hobby. If you have not met him, he's he's always set up as a vendor, just super nice to talk to. I would definitely go up, say hi to him, even if you're not into celebrity cards or Marvel cards, which is kind of what he specializes in. Uh, he does have sports cards, so you know maybe just ask him, hey, can I see the you know the the football cards that you have, you know, hidden underneath the table, and he'll he'll probably show you them and, and give you a great price. He's really easy to deal with as well. And I got to see Mama Breaks again, Stephanie. Um, this is a picture from us in Atlanta, but I did, uh, you know, didn't get a, a new picture as well. So I got to show an old picture and probably I need to take more pictures when I go to these shows, especially something as fun as the Mint Collective in Las Vegas. So there's a lot of vlogs, a lot of pictures. If you just, you know, probably type in Mint Collective on YouTube, you're going to find a lot of stuff. And it, it was really just an overall fun experience. So I want to get into the CSG new label, which again, as I said, really nice to hold it in hand. And of course, one of the main things that I really love about it is the bulk pricing at $12 per card. So this is awesome. And, and I have to tell you, the case itself, and I think a lot of people agreed that the case itself was a very nice looking case. 
very sturdy, uh, also has a, a, a number of security features, which they kind of went over with me as well while I was there. Um, so I just like all the bells and whistles that come along with the company, with the case itself, with the, you know, the grading process and knowing that that it's a tough grading process. So if you get a CSG 9.5, that is truly a gem mint card. So there's a lot of things to really like about CSG. And uh, now that they have the new label, that was honestly the only thing holding me back from grading with them. Uh, and again, love the $12 price. I can't say that enough. So one of the things they also mentioned is that what about the old labels now, right? And here, if those of you have not seen, I'm pretty sure most people know what a CSG label looks like, but this is it. This is the old label. It's This is a CSG 9 and it's green, you know, and all, all the old labels are green. And so unfortunately, that's not going to match with a lot of cards. And e even this card here, this is a um, hoops, white border, 89 hoops, white border, basketball card. And I don't know that any label is really good for that particular card. It's kind of a plain looking card, but a green label is is even worse than, than just maybe a neutral label. Uh, and just as a sidetrack, uh, so I did, because I did submit a card for a reholder, they let me spin the wheel. They had some prizes there and I got this Dominique Wilkins um, this was a special promo card that they were giving out. I'm not sure why or when, but I guess they had some leftovers. And this is actually his real autograph. So this was an autograph and a custom label. So I thought this was super cool. Uh, showed it to one dealer. He wanted it. I didn't know what, what its value was, but I, I didn't really want to sell it. I just thought it was cool that I got it as a, you know, a prize at the CSG table. So I got my cool Dominique Wilkins auto, one of my favorite players from the 80s. But just YouTube some of Dominique Wilkins' dunks, his highlights. Unreal. Um, anyway, back to the CSG label. So I like the price. I like the label. Uh, if you have these old green labels, they will reholder them for $5. So another nice surprise. I, I thought about that. I'm like, well, you know, reholder is probably 10 to $15. I don't know what the cost is, what PSA's reholder cost is. But uh, I thought, well, maybe if I pick up some green labels, I can get them reholdered if, if it makes sense, right? I mean, if I have a nice card in a old old case and I can, I can get it, submit it for a new case for $10, $12, whatever the cost is, I'll probably do it. But at $5, I'm actually looking for CSG cases now. I'm looking for cards that are graded CSG, specifically a CSG 9.5. So now here's the other thing that they're doing. They are converting all CSG 9.5s to 10s. They're going to give them a 10 grade like you saw on the Tom Brady, a Tom Brady sample that I showed. Uh, all 9.5s are going to be CSG 10s. Now here's how it works. I guess what I've been told is that it's similar to what SGC does. There's SGC has an SGC 10 perfect, uh, which is like, I guess, you know, kind of like a black label, I guess, like a BGS black label, a, a perfect 10 if they were going to give subgrades. And by the way, CSG is doing away with the subgrades as well. So, uh, but if they were going to do subgrades and you got four 10s, that would be a CSG perfect 10 and it's going to show 10 on the label. Now, if it's a Gem Mint 10, which is really used to be a CSG Gem Mint 9.5, there's going to be no subgrades and you're just going to get a 10 score, kind of like what you would get with PSA. Uh, but that's just going to be called Gem Mint. It's not going to be called Perfect. But both labels are going to show the 10 on it, which in my opinion, I think that's great for business. I think people like 10s psychologically. If you get a Gem Mint 10, that seems to have more value in the hobby than a Gem Mint 9.5. And we're, and we're seeing that with BGS. We're, we're seeing the BGS 9.5 cards slowly go down in value um, for across the board, across sports, across whatever types of players. You can find BGS 9.5 slabs sometimes at half the price of a PSA 10, sometimes even less. So it's crazy to me because it's the same card and it's probably about the same quality of card. I mean, there's no way that a PSA 10 is uh, twice as uh, mint as a BGS 9.5. I mean, I, in terms of quality, I think the two are pretty comparable. 
but you're you're getting a BGS 9.5 for half the price. So that that could be another arbitrage move if you if you really wanted to go that route, buy BGS 9.5, crack it and submit it to PSA. Lots of people do that already. Well, with CSG, you can buy CSG 9.5s, crack them and submit it to PSA as well. I will say this, I've heard that it's difficult to crack CSG labels and and you risk damaging the card. So they try to create the label so that it's it's really so that people cannot tamper with it. And that's what I love about it. But it also makes it difficult to crack. So, you know, crack at your own risk with CSG. What I plan to do is buy CSG 9.5s. And this is actually what I did. So I bought a Tom Brady 2014 X-Fractor, Topps Chrome X-Fractor in a CSG 9.5 label and submitted it right there at the show. I turned it in and it's going to get re, uh, re -hold, a new holder. So the new label... Uh, and it should be the whole process should take about two weeks. So that's what they told me. We'll see uh, if that actually happens and it comes back in two weeks. Now, the other thing, it is five dollars for the reholder. Uh, however, it's also five dollars handling. So if you're only submitting one card, you're going to pay five dollars for the reholder, five dollars handling. It's actually ten dollars. The other thing is you got to ship it back too. you got to pay for the shipping. The cheapest shipping op option was seventeen dollars. So all in all, I ended up paying $27 to get this card reholdered. Uh, it's a Tom Brady, though. Very nice card. I believe that when it comes back a CSG 10, it'll actually have more value than, than what I bought it at, which was I, I paid $300 for the CSG 9.5. Plus, I think it's just a good card to have, a good long-term hold, to have it in a better slab, a, a one of the new CSG slabs. I think is a, is a good move long term as well. So the $27 didn't really bother me too much. Uh, and I did want to get this done right away so I could uh, actually see the new label in hand sooner rather than later. However, what I would recommend and what I plan to do is kind of buy a few 9.5s, maybe a bulk, uh, you know, maybe 20, 30, however many, but not one and submit them all at once so that I'm just paying the one time $5 handling fee and one shipping charge, whatever that may be. It could be more than $17, but you know, if, if you're shipping 20, 30 slabs at a time, the shipping is gonna be cheaper per card when you break it down, as opposed to submitting cards one or two at a time for reholdering. So that's kind of my strategy going forward as I accumulate CSG 9.5s. And if I do, I mean, I need to find them at the right price. I'm gonna save them up and submit them all at once. However, there is a deadline to this $5 reholder thing. I, I want to say, and I, I should have looked this up, I want to say it ends in 90 days. So I think they're giving this a kind of 90-day window for those of you who have CSG slabs and you want to get the new case. You have 90 days to submit it for $5. I'm assuming it just goes up to regular price after that, which I, I don't know what that is, but uh, I like the $5 price, so I'm going to go ahead and shoot for that. In general, in summary, I am super excited about this whole CSG process. I, I, I like the new label. When you hold it in hand, you'll see it looks really nice. I like the price. Oh, I should say I love the price. And I really like now that I can actually get some cards graded that just don't make sense to get graded at PSA. And honestly, don't even make sense to get graded with HGA as the cheapest HGA grading option is $25 per card. So uh, that's what I'm going to do. I am going to grade some of these lower priced cards that have been sitting here waiting for grading. I'm going to do a 50 card bulk order and uh, we're going to go with that and see, you know, see how the market likes the new CSG labels. It's it's definitely a risk, but I've taken risks in the past. So why stop now? Anyway, I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Good to be back. I'm definitely going to do another video soon. I promise on the Mint Collective and my experience and what I just thought about the show in general, but I did want to get the CSG video out soon. I have not forgotten about the Hoops Blaster uh, giveaway as well, so we'll get to that in the next video as well. Thanks again for watching, and I will see you on the next one.